Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have this week's schedule of official content, so let us take a look at what to expect. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support. It is truly appreciated. So on Tuesday, the narrative team will be publishing a post called Bremen Beltway, which is an article that talks about the secret route that was used to safely smuggle political dissidents out of the Mesa-controlled United Empire of Earth and into Xi'an space. Likely a great read for any law buff, especially if you are into the history of the Messes, of the government, of Star Citizen, learning more about the fall of the Messes, plus hopefully learning something about the Bremen system too. This Wednesday, the Squadron 42 report will release to the Comlink. I have already covered this here on my YouTube channel, which I will link in the description below should you want to check that out. This Thursday will be an all-vehicle sprint report episode of Inside Star Citizen, as we are leading up to the ship showdown coming on the 15th, which is next week. This I am very much looking forward to. I'm hoping we take another look at the Banu Merchantman, the Drake Corsair, maybe even the Drake Vulture, the Argo SRV and the RSI Apollo as well, perhaps, as both of those now are in active development. It would also be great to check out the work going on with the resource network and engineering system for the Hulay and Hammerhead, although that might be left for another show later on. We also have three unannounced vehicles making their way through the various stages of the ship pipeline. One of which is currently entering Final Art, which has a cargo hold and a habitation section. Not sure if it's multi-crew or solo like the Nomad. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, a new ground vehicle just had its final art pass, plus the white box pass began on an unannounced variant of an existing vehicle with modifications to the exterior nearing completion. So quite a lot of potential on what we could see this week on Inside Star Citizen. And if I have left out any of the other known vehicles in the works, please do drop them in the comments below. Finally, this Friday, we have the usual subscriber vault update and RSI newsletter emailed out. Plus, Star Citizen Live returns, and this week it is with the developer behind the Star Kart racetrack on Orison, who will be building a new track with feedback from the audience. This will be kicking off at 3pm UTC, which is about 8am Pacific, and that is 4pm BSD here in the UK. Now, I hope eventually they actually have a full Star Kart race league with tracks found all over the verse, I can just imagine tuning and overclocking all the PTV components to try and get the best performance out of them while traveling from system to system to compete. So also this week, Jumptown and Siege of Orison continue on with August the 8th, 10th and 11th for Siege of Orison and August the 9th being Jumptown. And as mentioned earlier, on August the 15th, this year's Ship Showdown begins. Let me know in the comments what ship you would like to see win this year. I actually can't decide. Now, a quick update on Alpha 317.2. There is still a PTU build on the go, which is trying to fix and aid in the difficulties of the current live version. I believe they did try to get a new PTU build out last night, which was to have more elevator fixes, underground facility AI fixes, and Siege of Orison changes and fixes as well. But that build did fail, so tonight they will likely give that another go and try and get that onto the PTU with all of these fixes and improvements. Uh, as the live build is pretty problematic right now, which is a huge shame, because I really love this patch. It has so much more to do, and a lot of the previous bugs are now gone. There's a lot of quality of life improvements, but we're still having some pretty serious issues, so let us hope that they can get them fixed as soon as possible. Now, from me this week, I will be getting the Persistent Universe monthly report out as soon as possible, as well as working on the work that came to completion in July, according to the Progress Tracker. I have also recorded my first episode of Season 2 Zero to Hero, so I'll look to put that together as well and get that kicked off. I will be streaming this Thursday, 1 while 5 p.m. BST, and on Friday, 3 while 5 p.m. BST, continuing on with the Twitch Zero to Hero if we have a new live build. Otherwise, I might actually do some mining on my main account, we will see. But if you are new to Star Citizen and you have any questions regarding the game, the project, the future, do drop by and ask them in chat. It is the best time for me to respond. But that is what to expect this week in the world of Star Citizen. Plenty to look forward to this week, and here's to hoping that the PTU builds come to life as soon as possible and alleviate all of these issues we're seeing. But with that said, I hope you all have a great week, and if you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing. Also, come and hang out over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind, it does the channel a big favour, and tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, big thank you to my patrons and channel members, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.